Hey, Ryan. Jack Nicholas here. Kelly and the Ridge Boys have told me that you're turning 48 on March 7th. That's pretty good. He says, you're, we're all members of Jack Nicholas decides Snow Quality Ridge. Well, you're out there in that Seattle area. Isn't that a pretty golf course? I remember when we first did that golf course, it was just solid trees. You walk through it. <laughs> One of my guys was walking through the trees or somewhere, and he parted the trees, and he came nose to nose with a bear. And he says, the bear ran faster than he did to get out of there. Anyway, we, we love Snoqualmie Ridge. I love I love, I love, love the golf course. I, that little 14 hole, you like that little hole over, over, over the ravine? That's fun. And incidentally, I understand that uh, uh, you named – your first two boys, Jack and Nicholas. Are you really going to saddle those kids with that? Ah, that's really nice. That's very flattering, and uh, I'm very proud that you did that. And your girl, Palmer, well, yeah, that's not bad. Aaron Palmer was a pretty darn good guy. I don't know whether he was a girl or not, or a girl's name or not, but Palmer sounds pretty good to me. That's pretty flattering. And you obviously are, are a golfer, but I understand that you've got a great foot wedge, too, and that you can't putt. Now, come on. Now, Ryan, we've got to work on that. You know, if you're going to use your foot wedge, you can't anybody see you do it because, you know, if somebody sees you do it, then they, they say, hey, that might be cheating. And, and you know, so you got to work on that. I mean, you, you got to get, get a little clever in how you kick it out and do those things. You know, i never forget. I had a friend once that, uh, who was always known for that kind of thing. And my friend, other friend was walking ahead and he, did, he didn't even turn around. He said, Jimmy, stop kicking that ball out of the rough. And he turned around and he was kicking out of the buff and he caught it. Well, anyway, don't worry about that. We can't worry about those kind of things. But putting, I can help you with putting. This is for sole possession of the lead. Maybe. Yes, sir! I mean, what you want to do when you putt is, you know, you, you don't want, you, you, the one thing that most people do is they get really, you know, tight grip and tough pressure on, on the putt. When you're putting, you want to keep an even grip pressure throughout the thing. When you take it back and through, don't change your grip pressure, and then let your stroke and the, cl the club be heavy enough to f flow through. That's how you become a better player. You don't have to worry about, I can't make this, I can't make this. Well, you just let it go. Anyway, I know that'll help your putting. You can't use a good sound fundamentals. Keep your head still. Get your eyes over the line of the putt and an even grip pressure, and you're going to be a better putter. At 48, I can't imagine when you work at it so hard, when you get to be a senior man, you're going to be fantastic. Ryan, good luck. Good luck to all your kids. Wish them all well. And, uh, Many more, my friend.